and we back. Today's video doesn't end until I win a championship, but there's two twists. The first twist is that I can only do one trade per season. And the second twist is that the trade difficulty is all the way up to 100. You know, on this channel, we got a history of maybe finessing some general managers left and right. Not today. I got to make the most calculated trades. And a lot of the times I'm going to be losing. I'm going to be losing these trades, but I will be a winner at the end. Whether it take one season or 500 seasons, this video does not end until I win a championship. Leave a like and subscribe. So here are the settings that we're playing with today. 100% trade negotiation difficulty. We have to randomly select our team. We're going to stop in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're running with the Lakers again. I just feel like we keep getting the Lakers, and we're going to have the 8th overall pick. Okay, so I was a little bit afraid about us not being able to uh, go out there and, and, and get a star. And with the eighth overall pick, we kind of got that. Now you're looking at me and say, Kenny, what about free agency? The only thing I can do in free agency is replace talent at the same caliber. So if we lose a player in free agency that was an 80 overall and we have the money to sign another 80 overall, we can do that. But we can't be out there upgrading the talent from the offseason. You feel me? So it is just one trade. We have Tyrese Halliburton, uh, Larry Marketing, Devin Vassell, Yaka Pertle, Jared Vanderbilt. Okay. All right. This team is not close to a championship, but that's okay. That's okay. We get one trade to make it happen. One trade to make it happen. Oh, that's not even our team. <laughs> that's the 76ers. All right. Okay. All right. Hopefully our team is better because I'm like eighth overall pick. You took Tyrese. Man, he didn't really climb up the ranks. That is a lot better. That is a lot better. Now, the only bad thing about it is he is 35. And I don't know if this is going to take five years and he might be retired by that time. Uh, we, we have to maximize what we have right now. Desmond Bain's contract kicks in, what, next season? Or did it already kick in next season? Okay. So he's about to be a $34 million man. We have RJ Beard making $23 million. We have $12 million for Steven Adams. Al Horford's making 10. Herb Jones signed his extension. So we have some bigger contracts on the books already. And we have to figure out exactly what we want to do. I think trading away, R I did not realize that RJ was three years younger than Desmond Bain. That feels kind of crazy. Um, but it's a fact, I guess. Uh, I think the, the deal might be moving RJ and maybe some draft capital as his first trade goes. Uh, RJ Baird has three and a half star value. I want to see how bad 100% trade difficulty looks like. Because you throw him in one first round pick, what's the trade off is going to look like? Is it going to be good? Yaka Perto and Jared Vanderbilt. So yeah, oh, 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 but that's, that's last year of contract, Pascal. Now, do we believe in our ability to maybe re-sign him? That's the question. But you know what? For it being, oh, not bad here. But we already got Desmond Bain's contract. For it being 100% trade difficulty, these trades aren't terrible. Like, this is not a terrible looking trade. We get rid of the 37-year-old Al Horford, even though we really like Al Horford. He's just old. And then we bring in Pascal, who's, and then Trey Mann, who we don't know exactly what we're going to get with Trey Mann. It's not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal. But because we can only do one, I want to make sure that the one we do is the right one. So anybody else here that we would be willing to trade away. I'm thinking about it like this. Herb can run. If we do that trade, Herb runs the three. Bain is at the two. Seth Curry's at the one. Pascal uh, is at the four. And then Steven Adams is at the five. Like that, That's the way I'm thinking about it. But you also want to capitalize on the value of players on one-year deals. Now, we got a team option for Joe Ingles, but... I don't think I would accept that. We got player options from Gary Payton and JaVale McGee. So, you know, usually it will take a couple deals to make some of that stuff happen. But if I do RJ and then Gary Payton the second and then this first, there's Brandon Ingram. That's actually an interesting trade. We also get Nurkic, who we don't love, but it's another talented player. I don't think trade find is the perfect way to go about things just because it's only going to give you the value that you throw out. Uh, so RJ, we also don't want to throw all our eggs in one basket this early on. Uh, so that, that oh, Victor Webb and Yama, Wendell Carter, Julius Randle, a lot of bigs over there. Having Steph Curry is definitely a saving grace. Trading for a guy like Jaron is something I would love to do. Uh, he, he's going to get better. He's only 24 years old. He's a, he's a defensive player of the year player. They're not going to accept that because, I, I mean, I didn't expect them to. Um, I'll give them Salty Aldama, who's only one and a half star value. You give us back Jared Butler, also one and a half star. So that's not actually getting the job done. I don't want to give up every first round pick, obviously, because, again, we don't know how long this is going to take. But I feel like if we throw th three is the max I would do in this potential deal. Uh, and that gives us room to put, still have a couple more in the next couple seasons. They say no. 
not that big of a deal. We're going to add one more thing, and that's going to be Big Al Horford. And we can take uh, Grayson Allen. It's actually more valuable than I anticipated. Hold on. DFS is the same amount of value. So one more one more attempt at this. If they say no, the 100% trade difficulty is really going to mess us up every season, huh? This is the biggest trade we could potentially do. They did it. They accepted it. Three first-round picks. Jaron Jackson Jr. is on the team with Desmond Bain. We basically have the Grizzlies, huh? I'm just looking at that. We basically built the Grizzlies, but instead of job, we got Steph Curry. So Herb Jones going to run our three. You're number one, are we a championship contending team? You're number one, are we a championship contending team? Now, we do have a lot of point guard minutes because Patrick Beverly is down there. I actually might play some, um, some Iggy, who's a power forward center. I'm not actually going to let Iggy be a power forward center. Iggy, you're going to be a small forward power forward. And I would assume his overall goes up. Oh, man, Iggy. Oh, man, Iggy. Get your butt in the rotation, man. It's your time to shine, baby. Well, last ride. Four, almost 40 years old. First game is a win. Steph Curry. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I want Steph Curry to pass. I'm going to do a uh, play-through star. Where's the play-through star? And you know what, Steph? Get ready, because we're going to need you to play a lot of minutes. I'm going to say I'm gonna say we play 40-plus minutes for Steph Curry at night and say go win an MVP or something, because if we can win this championship the first year off one trade, I see that as an absolute win. One of the first times I've seen Shea win an MVP award, 30, 5.5, and, and 9. Uh, Vic, of course, Ben Simmons, 6 man, Rudy Gobert, DPOY again, Alperin Shingun, boom, 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 coach of the year, Eric Spoelstra. Look, oh, where's Steph Curry's second team? Okay, all right, what were your numbers looking like, Bordell? Let me see what you what you looking like. 32, 6, and 6, 50, 40, and 90. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Stop messing around with Steph Curry. He and us, we are the one seed. <laughs> and we got this done in one season, but I swear to you. And they even messed up my minutes. I had them at 40 minutes. They normalized it. So he ain't even played as much as we wanted him to. Either way, it's fine. Um, I'm kind of curious to what Iggy O self did. Oh, I was looking for him. They had him starting. Get Herb Jones back in that lineup, bro. Stop messing around with my rotations. I'm like, where is he at? And he was in the, in the starting lineup. But this is the numbers. I mean, he wasn't. He was getting to steal the game, which is something Iggy has done as long as he was getting minutes. But no, 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 no. This is Steph Curry. This is Jaron. And this is Desmond, who averaged 21 on great shooting. And then Jaron averaged 20. Um, really good three-point shooting, which I'm excited about. I'm excited about that. He's going to be getting better, ladies and gentlemen. Will we win the championship the first year? I don't even know what we do. If we win the championship the first year, does the video just end, or do I reset and hope that I get a lower pick because the eighth overall pick was too high? We got Steph Curry. Uh, we're going against Damian Lillard, Klay Thompson, Norman Powell, just Sadiq Bey, and DeAndre Ayton. Not a bad-looking team. They're lacking maybe a little bit defense when they're in them wing positions, but not a bad team whatsoever. I feel like, oh. I was going to say, I feel like our defense is going to clamp up everything. But I guess that's not the case. Damian Lillard just had a crazy game. Um, we are down 0-2. Game 3. Huh. Who would have thought? Um, let's let's say 7-man rotation or something. Not in the first... Not getting swept in the first round from the for, by AC. I could not have expected that to happen. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Could not have expected that to happen. Um, Kyrie Irving versus Jordan beating the finals. And Kyrie Irving won. We just got swept. We just went, um, we just looked really, really good. We just looked really, really good just to get swept. So that's that's a fun little wrinkle in our season, uh, in our video. I was feeling pretty confident about us potentially ending the year one, and that just didn't happen. All right, so right now when it comes to free agency, we have, uh, I, I should probably write this down, 79 overall TJ McConnell. Again, we could potentially replace him with somebody else that's a 79. 79, 78. This is a rookie contract, though. He'll probably be back. 77. 76. So we got a lot. We got a lot of role players that are sitting around uh, figuring out if we're gonna give them a contract. Now, most of those dudes I'll probably just bring back for what they worth and maybe use them in a trade this season. Uh, but you know, if we lose them, we have the opportunity to go get something else. I'm gonna use my second round pick because it's important that we continue to build some talent. This guy's a 20 year old dude that uh, was projected going the first round. He's still there, and I'll, I'll just take a chance. I'll take a chance. 59th overall pick. Is he gonna make the roster? Uh, 72, five, five badges, perimeter lockdown, eight plus perimeter defense, hold on, you, I know you can't scoop, shoot, you can't score, no nothing, but I would take a chance on you, I mean, perimeter defense of 90, steals is a 70, yep, you can make an NBA team, put you on a two-way or something, need to upgrade the center, Steven Adams, we rock with you, my boy, you, we definitely do, one of the strongest men in basketball, actually, let's see if your strength tell, tells us that, what the what world would Steven... Who is the... Okay, all right. This is a tangent, but who is the strongest man in 2K right now? Joel Embiid, Andre Drummond, Giannis, Zion, 
this rookie, Nikola Jokic, Anthony Davis, rookie, rookie, Montrez Harold Nurkic, all of these dudes, are you saying all of these dudes? All of these dudes are stronger than Steven Adams? I can't say that's a fact, bro. No, you, Markeith Morris is stronger than Steven Adams? That feels incorrect. That's the, that's the word I'm gonna use, it feels incorrect. Okay, so let's figure out how we do this, right? Um, we have Steven Adams himself at $12 million. We have TJ McConnell potentially. Now we don't have another backup point guard if we do that, so that's gonna maybe prevent us from making that deal happen. Sheesh, uh, this is what we got, $18 million in, in salary. So we gotta figure out who that center is that we can trade for with $18 million in saddle, salary. Uh, we, we have Victor Webinyama, Alperin Shingun, Parker Kessler. Jared Allen is around $18 million. Jared Allen is, is the guy. Jared Allen is the guy. I also see Robert Williams, both on two-year deals, both 85 overalls. Uh, we also have Miles Turner. Okay, this, this, ain't, this ain't too bad of a batch of players to potentially trade for. We got some even cheaper players like Wendell or Clint Capella. But I'm definitely going to shoot for... Probably Jared plays for the Celtics right now, uh, so let, let's let's talk to the Celtics about it now. Hopefully, I won't have to give up too much other than Stephen, and then other than uh, Javale at six. They're gonna say no as they should. Do we have? Do I trade the rookie already? No, 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 no. I should probably be trying to get another player too. Like, can we get Nerlens Noel? Because we're gonna his shot to this is crazy. Can we get Nerlens Noel? Just because we gonna need a guy that maybe plays a backup center, uh, and then this is where we throw some draft capital. They want three first round picks in this trade. That's all of our picks that's remaining. I, we lost in the first round last season. We need to make some big changes. I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Jared Allen, welcome to the team. So our team is Steph Curry, Desmond Bain, Herb Jones, uh, Jared Jackson Jr., Jared Allen. Now, the thing is, our bench is not as good as we want it to be. I'm going to make Sasha be a small forward just so the minutes can look better. He probably moves better as a three anyway. His overall does go down by one. That's okay. And now our minutes look a little bit better. The only thing is, Joe Ingles, I'm going to take those minutes away and give them to Nerlens. And instead of it being uh, Allen, it's going to be Sasha. And now our minutes look way better. We need... I mean, Jaron is in a 70 overall club. He's about to be really ridiculous, I think. Our star lineup looks like a team that can win a championship. The bench is where I'm like, ah, eh, you know, ah. Eh. But with only one trade a, with only one trade a year, what do you want me to do? I can't get that bench depth right now. Zion just gave us the work, but it didn't matter. Okay, all right, well, we sim. We sim. Only one trade a year, baby. Year number two. Could this be our season? Luka wins MVP, yada, yada, yada. Do we care about awards? We care about championships. That's what we care about. Um, Steph Curry, Steph Curry, 13. Okay, all right, Steph uh, dropped a little bit in points per game, but that just tells me that somebody else on our team stepped up because we were the one seed again. Now, that didn't matter last year. <laughs> that didn't matter last year, but maybe it was this year. All right, let's figure out exactly who scored a lot for us. Uh, actually, Jaron dropped a little bit, but he was more efficient, just did get the shots up. Desmond Bain dropped a little bit, but was more efficient. Jared Allen comes in and he, he was okay, he even hit some threes. 11 to be exact. Oh my God. Uh, Herb Jones dropped a little bit, but he wasn't more efficient. He actually dropped off a little bit when it comes to efficiency. Um, oh, my guy Sasha comes in and he wasn't, a, he can hit the three ball. He can hit the three. Was most of his shots threes? He shot 600 shots and then about 400 of those with three. So he was heavy, heavy on the spot up. And I like that. I like that. You need other people that can shoot if you're going to play with Steph Curry. Can we get out of the first round? That, that's where we at right now because last year not only did we lose we got swept and that's going on Steph Curry's legacy uh, Trey Young and Anthony Edwards is a crazy backcourt I will say that that's highlights that's step backs that's three long three-point shots it's, we have not won a playoff game in this video oh one are we serious yo lock in lock in bro no way thank you I'm not, we we are not doing this, bro. We are not doing this. We are down 3-1. All right. Okay. You would have thought the sim difficulty was up to 100. The way these playoff games going, are you, man. I, that to me, that means that something major is wrong. If you can't win more than two playoff games um, as the one seed in two seasons, something is fundamentally wrong with your team. And we're going to fix that fundamentally wrong problem. No way. No way we should be the one seed back-to-back -back seasons and win that many playoff games. I'm I'm dumbfounded by the way things are going. The more I think about it, no way a coach is the one seed two years in a row 
and he does not when he gets fired. I can't even fire because I'm already past staff. Just know that Darvin Ham, though we mess with you in real life, the 2K version of you got to get fired right now. I got to say, another year where dudes projected to go in the lottery falls to like the last pick. That's got to tell me something. Them dudes is not built that way. And this dude's not nearly as good as the last one. So we might just let him go. All right, even though it's not like a particular you, you're the reason why we're losing. We got to make some major upgrades. Now, fortunately for us, we've made those two trades and it, it cost us a lot of draft capital. So it's not like we have a lot to even mess around with. But I need to take a quick glance around the league and figure out who's where and doing what. Like, Mikael is snapping. I want to try to trade for Mikael Bridges, but boy, that is ridiculous. There's, We ain't got that. We ain't got that. Uh, yeah, this is crazy. That's he's crazy good right now. And I, you know what? It ain't happening. I'm gonna try. I'll give you the first round pick and all the seconds. I'll give you the young dude who you might want because he's not bad. And I'll give you this extra second round pick. I'll try it. Yeah, I didn't expect it to to go down. But boy, if imagine if we could. I just wanted to see what Trey Finder was gonna have. A hundred percent trade difficulty is kind of kind of crazy. Uh, even even with Desmond Bain by himself, we we looking at lateral moves rather than upgrades. And maybe a lateral move is not bad. Uh, maybe we should be trying to think about depth because I feel like that's one place we're missing. Because look at our team, our bench is not good. Uh, I mean this guy's gonna get minutes for the first time in his career, so shout out to him. Maybe we should be trading Desmond Bain for a couple better role players or something. That's thirty six million dollars in cap space so let's figure out if there is a trade to be done there he is a 86 overall too all right this is this is not a good trade but i'm getting three really good role players again our team doesn't have them and i feel like that might be the determinant factor in what we're doing desmond bain has been amazing for us he shot almost 50 percent from three last year and now that I'm saying that aloud, I feel stupid even thinking about trading him. So you know what? I'm holding off on this. This is a trade that I feel like if I hit this button right now, they will say yes. Or if they don't say yes, we throw two seconds and they say yes. Should I be thinking about moving Jared Allen already? Should it happen already? Let's let's figure it out. Let's figure it out, guys. Because uh, it's, a, it's a little bit rough out here. And it's, it's hard to figure out. Because I was thinking in my head, we don't really need Jared Allen. We can, we can run our guy, uh, Jaren, at the five, and we'll be fine. He'll be able to do it. So what can we do to, like, get depth instead of having one singular player? But the answer is not a lot. You can't do a lot of things. Now, I can try Trey Finder, but I don't expect Trey Finder to work. I'm trying to pull off a three-teamer. Uh, the Trailblazers are cool with it. I'm trying to find a way to steal Austin Reese for the low. They are not budging. What if I gave you this guy who is good? They're still not budging. He is the one dude that I feel like can put it over the top. The only problem, he's an 84. South Yaldam is a 78. But that's that's where the contracts lie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Send him here. No, okay. Still nothing. All right, well, we're trying to do something like that. We need somebody that's making 10 to $12 million. One guy making 10 to $12 million that we want to bring to the team. Or I guess 14. We can get to $14 million. It has been 30 minutes, maybe. I, I still haven't figured it out. The three-teamer makes so much sense, but I didn't recognize how difficult it really was going to be. I have no doubt maybe offer the trade to all 29 other NBA teams. So instead of working the three-teamer, I think we're going to do a singular trade and hopes to get us power forward for Jared Allen and uh, Jared Allen and maybe the young dude because he's valuable. I, I, I've, I'm burnt out, man. I'm burnt out. Oh, 100% trade difficulty is tough. All right, the trade I'm going to end up doing is for Buddy Heald. And Wendell Carter Jr. Oh. Oh, and Alex Caruso. Hey, thank you, man. I'll take it. All right. My spirits are back up. Um, Does that turn us into contenders? Let's make this a 10-man rotation. Oh, no. Darvin Ham's supposed to get fired, too, right? I'm glad I just looked at that. Darvin Ham, you, you counted your days, and it's time. It, it's time is The time is now. It is expired. Uh, the best guy available w as far as well-roundedness is this guy. Unless we want to go grit and grind. I don't mind. Okay, I don't mind grit and grind. That's that's the that's the vibe of this team now, I guess. We just changed the whole identity. We got two juniors in the lineup, so that's fun. We had some snipers. I mean, we got a lot of snipers. Desmond Bain, Steph Curry, and Buddy Heal. Those are three of the best shooters in ball right now. We also got Caruso, um, who's there for some defensive pump. Uh, one trade a year. That's all we get. Shea does it again. All right, Shea. All right. Um, 
Amon Thompson, Anthony Davis, Scoo Henderson. All right, this is the year. This is the year. I hope Steph Curry's 38 years old. He can't keep carrying this forever. <laughs> you know, he's 38. He's 38. Come on, man. So we were the two seed, which might be better than being the one seed. This team is Bam, Black, Sharp, Barrett, and Finney Smith. So Barrett could potentially get a little bit of revenge. Game one is a win. Oh, my God. We won a game one. Game two. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The secret sauce is not being the one seed. At first, okay, first round, we're done. Now, this is where I'm going to start changing stuff. Because I refuse. This is the year that I definitely, definitely want to win. This is a nine-man rotation at the most now. If we lose one game, I'm sorry, Caruso or TD. One of y'all got to leave out this rotation, my guy. On one game's loss. Game one is a win. Jaron is out here. Playoffs. Stepping it up big time. That's what we love to see, Jaron. Shouldn't have to be all step. Oh, there's that one loss I was talking about. And Miss Caruso, you had three fouls and zero points. Minus 30? Caruso, you're done. <laughs> what? Minus 30? Are you serious? You're done, Caruso. Man, uh, I can't I can't even imagine minus 30 in a game. Especially because nobody else on the team was even close. Now, if he was minus 30 and Steph Curry is minus 20, then I'm like, oh, okay. Look at this again. We lost by single digits and you were a minus 30 on in 15 minutes? You're done. I also see Jaron, you're not very good either today, but we're not taking your minutes away. Another loss. Okay, um, Jaron, Wendell, huh, okay, what's the, what's the secret sauce? Don't go down 3-1. Okay. <laughs> what's the secret sauce? I don't know. I think, okay, here, here's, here's my remedy. We're running small ball. We're starting small ball. Buddy Hield, I see you making a lot of shots, shooting 50% from three. Wendell, you can still get a lot of minutes, do so not get me wrong, but we, we're gonna go with the guys that might have the high hand at the current moment, and that's starting Buddy Hield. Herb, you're 6'7". I know you're not used to playing the foe, but you're going to have to play the foe today. Who is they opposing for again? Let's figure it out. You versus Cat. Dang, never mind. <laughs> I cannot have you guarding Cat. That's not what you, That's not in your archetype, my guy. So let's go back and say Salty Aldama starts at the 5. Jaren stays at the 4 because he's guarding Cat instead of guarding um, James Wiseman. I don't know. We just got we got to remedy some stuff. We're down 3-1 to this inferior team. We're the better team. And if we lose this year, we trade Steph Curry. I'm saying it. If we lose this year, we trade Steph Curry because obviously he can't lead in like in 2K like he can in real life. So there's the there's a win um, behind a Steph Curry good game. A Salty Aldama got some rebounds. What's the plus minus is looking like? Everybody was elite. Okay, three to them. We win this game. We win the series. That's my that's how my mindset is. We win this game. We win the series. We go back to L. A. And we got home court advantage at the staple because it's still a staple in my eyes. Okay, this is a big win. Salty Aldama is starting to start lineup was the secret sauce, I guess. So, oh, 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 they struggled. Cat, I mean, he had a good shooting, but 18 points. Ijax was y'all best player tonight? Let that happen one more game. Jaron, what a game. What a game for Mr. Jaron Jackson Jr., 29 17. Wendell off the bench was good. Salty Aldama not really doing much, but his presence in that start lineup has been heard. Steph Curry was a plus 43 on the night. Show the world why you wanted the... Matter of fact, this is a game seven. What am I doing? This is a game seven. Uh, TD, what are you doing? You're playing really well before game seven. I'm at to cut you completely. And then we'll normalize the minutes next. We need our top dudes to play top dude minutes. All right, let's get it. Last game of this series, potentially of this year for us, if things don't go well. It's, it's, uh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. It's not going well. It's close. It's close. It's not anymore. Will we get out of here? Yes. Steph Curry had a triple-double. Amazing play. Desmond Bain had 48 three-pointers made. And to think Wendell Carter was a minus 20 in the game. Are we serious, Wendell? Sheesh. All right. Now, since we're in the conference finals, going against the Sacramento Kings, they have Giannis and Click Capella. We're going to... Man, this team's actually really good. We're going to normalize our minutes again um, to get back to some type of normalcy. Nor normalcy. You know what I'm trying to say. Caruso, we getting you back in the lineup. If we lose a game, I'm taking you out. Uh, just simple, simple as that. Steph Curry, please. We need, we need this championship back. Game one is a win for the LA Lakers. Okay, all right. Alex Caruso, ten minutes. Where were you? A minus five. Not great. Game two is a loss. Okay, Caruso, this is your fault. Alex Caruso, this is your fault. I don't know. It was Buddy Hill today. All right, no, no big deal. We lost home court advantage. And we, yep. All right. Well, it's time to go back to an obscure lineup because oh, Buddy Hill is now cold. Mm, I don't want to take him away yet. I'm just, I just—I still believe he's a streaky shooter. He's going to get back on track. Jaron, you're getting a ton of minutes. Wendell, you got to get some minutes. Uh, we need your perimeter defense. 
and Steph Curry. I want to give him 448, but we might have to give him a 448. Are we serious? I cannot make this up. So we got some foul outs from all of the people that... No, buddy, you're done. But he's done. He fouled out in nine minutes. 0 for 1, a foul out in nine minutes. Buddy, you're out of the rotation. You're out of the rotation. Who, who gets those minutes, though? I'm going to give some run to Chemezi Metu just to get some backup center minutes, I guess. Uh, Sasha, he hasn't scored this season. Do we trust Sasha? <laughs> the secret weapon is here. Uh, Terrence Davis, again, hasn't been good. Alex Caruso has not been good. I'm giving Sasha a chance. You know what, Sasha? Not, I'm not giving you a ton of minutes, but you're going to get 10 minutes per, okay? And we give some more here. Oh, boy. All right. Here, here we go. 3-1 series in the favor of the Kings. We now we came back from a 3-1 series last series. Uh, it's, it's not good if you keep going down like this, guys. Steph Curry's getting traded. Steph Curry's getting traded. Steph Curry's getting traded. Simple as that. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. It's not him. It's not even him. It's not him. Look, he's been good. Look at the playoff numbers. It's not him. But, but something has to give. This is year, what, four we going into? And we ain't been, we ain't even really been close. I'm trying to do something ridiculous. Like, really ridiculous. The Celtics say yeah. The 76ers say no. This trade, we'd walk out with... Porzingis, Kelly Oubre, Tyrese Halliburton, and Larry Markkinen. We'd get, be getting rid of Desmond Bain, Steph Curry, Buddy Hill, and Wendell Carter. That's a lot. It's a lot. How about an extra second round pick to sweeten the pot? All right, we don't really need this pick then. And now they're not getting enough back. Okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. What about we get a future, future first round pick? Those aren't as valuable. Uh, okay, so that's a good start. Just don't, I don't have the value there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, all right, we'll take Larry Marketing out of the deal and take Wendell Carter out of the deal and say this is the one. Not getting enough back still. All right, all right, okay. Unfortunately, we don't have anything else of value. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have anything else of value to maybe have you thinking that you're getting enough back. As stupid as it sounds, Steph Curry has to be the one. He's 38, one-year contract is the only thing he wanted to sign for. It makes me think he's going to retire. Josh Giddy, Ayo Kuzma, deal. I know. I know, I know, I know. I can see the comments. I can see the comments. Trust. I know, okay? You just gotta trust. I've been asking for you to trust all video long and we haven't won a championship. I know, I know, I understand. That's the best we could do, okay? 100% trade difficulty is tough, all right? We don't have no more picks. We traded a lot of picks early in the video. The Jared acquisition for all those picks have been working. The other ones, maybe not so much. I wanted to do a three-teamer where we threw Bane into another deal and the same deal didn't work. So this is what we're working with. All right, let's go win. Okay. All right. So we traded Steph Curry away. Josh Giddy makes an All-NBA team over Steph Curry. So something's going right. He averaged a double-double as a point guard. He even shot 40% for three. Steph Curry was still good too, though. I mean, what can I say, Steph Curry? Okay. Um, we were the two seed again, and there's a big gap between us and the Grizzlies, who are the one seed. I am saying this is the year. They want Herb Jones to come off the bench. Hey, listen, coach, I trust you. If you think Kuzma's the better starter right now, what do I know? I've been trying to do the right thing the whole video. The Suns are the first team we got to go through. They have Anthony Davis, Jalen Green, and, and Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. and Jalen Green both up to an 88. We lose game one. Game two, we win. I ref Bro, I swear to you. I swear to you. Oh, my God. What is even happening? It's not Anthony Davis. Jalen Green is good. Michael Porter Jr. is good. I don't even know what to do, bro. I don't know what to do. I I have exhausted all of my options. Seven-man rotation. I do want to say Steph Curry did retire, by the way. So we made the right decision by trading him. It's just it's just not working out altogether, though. Desmond Bain for Trey Young. We got to do it. We got to move Giddy over back to the two. I mean, this is this is the team. Now, we did get this guy who's a small forward who was really good last season, so that helps. Um, we also have Nick Richards to replace some center minutes. Isaiah Hardenstein, we don't really need. Uh, at this point, we just praying that the inevitable happens, right? This I said whether it be one year or 100 years, we're getting close to 100 years. This, this team looks completely different than when we started, man. It's kind of crazy. I mean, we can do this, right, and have Jaren run the five, Kuzma at the four, and Herb still gets his minutes and starts. Herb also might be a guy that we need to trade if we lose another season, but if everything goes as planned, Trey Young does this for a season and we do it in the playoffs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Giddy. Are we 
I mean, NBA MVPs? That's not what this challenge is about. I'm going, I'm growing restless. First of all, Ben Simmons has won a lot of awards. Have they all been uh, six man of the year? He has won three six man of the year awards since we started this video. Um, I, I, that's not what we're here for. Even though we'll take it and it's cool, it's fun. That's not what we're here for one reason alone. And that is, Jaren's all defensive. That is to win the championship. Is this year five? I, it's, is this your five? Now these, this video might not be as long as, as it's been taking me to record, obviously, but boy, have we been here for a long time to win this championship. When I, when I mocked up this idea, I didn't think that it was going to take an hour and a half to two hours to win one championship. The hundred percent trade difficulty is kind of insane. And I will, I will not be going back to it. If we can complete this this year, I'm vowing not to go back to it because it, it's, it be, it won. It's won. I thought maybe three years, we make the right trades in three years, then we good. We out of here with a nice fun video for the audience. No, so far it's been good though. We have not lost the game. Trey Young, I don't even know what Trey Young is doing, but we have the MVP of the league on our team. So, okay. We're in the conference finals. Lamelo and Joel Embiid is insane. That's an insane duo. I don't even know what I, what to say or what to do about that. Uh, we hope we win. Well, we do have Jaren guarding him, and Jaren got that on lock. Game one. Yeah, bro. Jaren got that on lock. Look at him. Look at him struggling. Game two. Okay. 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 We're going to the finals. We're going to the finals. So, oh, uh, I was going to say, oh, man. Okay. I was about to say, no way. This team... Remember, year one and year two, we, we played eight playoff, nine playoff games. We won one. And now we just did the reverse of that. We only lost. Oh, we lost two. Either way, things are looking better. Tyrese Maxey, K. Cunningham, and Victor Wibanyama. Who allowed this team to exist? What the heck? Um, I'm not playing no games. At this point in time, seven-man rotation. Seven man rotation. No, no, we don't have time to be. Y'all can go in here and play 10 people. We not doing it. Game one is a win for the Lakes, y'all. Oh, Trey Young. Stop, man. He fouled out, but he had 50 and 16, and Giddy is just a triple double machine. Game two. Oh, my God. Giddy. Giddy. We should have traded for Trey Young and Josh Giddy a long time ago. The, the best backcourt in the history of ball right now. That's what I'm saying, just because I need them to win. And we swap them. Ah, that's so great. Um, they they were undefeated going into the finals. They were they were the best team in the playoffs. That's what they ran into us. Yeah, that was it. It took way too long. But a win is a win. <laughs> but a win is a win. That's all I was saying. A win is a win. 